Welcome to the last part of my tutorial series where I show you how you can create shaders that actually move things. And I showed you already how you can move the flag or uh, move fishes and animating things. And now we want to animate the palm trees and the graph. The link is in the description and you can find the assets you need in the folder asset island scene and then palm tree download the fbx grass and the fbx palm tree import them into unity and just back and drop them into the theme if you are looking for a uv grid in your favorite search engine and have a look at the images and the result you will find some image like this one where you can uh, just see the UV coordinates. So on the top left corner it's 0, 0, here it's 1, 0 and so on and you see all the intermediate ones. And the good thing is you can use them in Unity. Set them as a base map or albedo in your material, drag and drop the material anywhere you want. And then you are able to see the UV coordinates if you go close enough to the object. For example here is a 1, 1 and so on and you see the intermediate ones so and here is a trick we always used in the last tutorials and uh, now I can show you a little bit better what I mean um, for example you see here it's decreasing 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 and it goes all around the palm tree and the other I think it's the u value it goes from 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and so on and it's decreasing down here. So let's use this to create a material. So we go right click create shader uh, PBR graph and cause this a stump and create a material out of it. Okay let's create two colors. The UV uh, split node just drag and drop the line here. This is a U value, this is a V value and then a linear interpolation we will interpolate between this one and this one and we will use the V value and we'll see it's dark here, light here. Just plug it into the albedo, save it and the material can be assigned to the stump. And here you see it, the light color is here, the dark color is here and this is a trick we always use in my tutorials uh, with animating things in shader graph. Let's go for the leaf. So create shader PBR graph leaf and we will create a material and we will look for leaf. There it is. And just drag and drop the material here and edit it by double clicking the leaf shader. Here we are in PBR master and do the same thing again for the albedo. Here we go, same structure, different color and the result looks okay. Now we want this animation, this wind effect. Wind is very irregular, it's a noise, it's a gradient noise. And we will create our first property, it's the uh, uh, wind strength, better the wind uh, density. And we will use a default value of 10, drag and drop it into our scene drag and drop it here in the scale and now we can scale up our density as we please. The gradient noise has to be adjusted so we will subtract 0 0.5 it's um, or we add 0 0.5 subtract 0 0.5 and this is the result and we will multiply the complete thing uh, with the wind strength so create a property wind strength I can drop it into our scene. This is the second parameter going in. No, it should be here, but it doesn't matter in general. And the wind strength um, is maybe two. And then you see uh, it's lighter in the light areas, it's darker in the dark areas. This is the strength. But what's really missing is the movement, and the movement will be done with a time node. And the time nearly always has uh, a speed value. Uh, if you have a look at my earlier tutorials, you will always see this same pattern all over again. We will always take the time and multiply it with the speed value. And now we can use this value for nearly anything. 
and we will use this for an offset. So we will offset the whole thing and then we will use this as a UV value. It's not moving right now because we have to multiply it with some um, UVs. So let's take the position of the vertex in the world space, split it and combine it again. So no, we want to combine it here and here. The first two back together. These positions will be our positions we will use. It looks a little bit strange that we use UVs here because we have no tiling and offset for positions. We are in the vertex shader now, not in the pixel shader. So these are not really UVs. These are just vector twos that are scaled. To see the result, let's take a wind speed of one and you will see what I mean. Yeah, we are um, using UVs to scale a texture here, but these textures are just ones and zeros and we will use them as a position. Now, this is only one value here and the position takes three. So we have to take the uh, position, split the position, combine the position again, X, Y, that, and take the output, put it in here. Now, this is okay, but we are not really affecting the position. So we want to modify something. And the value we want to modify is this Y value here. So we will take the add node, add two things together, just the output and the Y value, put it back in the combine and then take this as the position. No, my explanation wasn't right. We take the X value and you see the position is really moved here. Uh, the wind strength should be a little bit lower. Now it looks better. The problem is that we always use world space, world space here and world space here. Why do we want to use world space? Um, the reason is we use this X value. For example, if this is the X axis, it's actually the Z axis, but just imagine this would be the X axis. Uh, we want to have a wave here, this gradient noise. And if it goes up here, then a frame later it's here, a frame later it's here, and it moves from one tree to another. So you can see really the wind going through these leaves and not it's not isolated in this object, it's really in the world space. The problem is the shader um, does not use the world space. So in this position node, it always expect the position in object space, but we can transform it. So we can transform anything from object space to world and so on, but we are in world and we need to be in object space. So with these values used, this is what it looks like right now. So the whole thing is moving, uh, but even the wood here is moving, you see it? And this is not nice. This should be steady and the, the more we go to the outer section, the more it should be um, moving. And to do that, uh, we can have a look at our UV map and see that this part is very red here and this part is very green. So we can use this because this is one of the UV values. And to be more specific, it's the U values. So I don't know if you can see it here. It's the 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and so on. And here it's 0, 0.0. And so there's a gradient from here to here so let's linear interpolate it. Let's take the UV, uh, split it up, and then use this for the LERP and the T value. So now you see here, it's black here and white here. And then we linear interpolate this one with our position one to one put it in here, make sure you have selected world because we want to use always world position. But in the last step, we will transform it from the world to the object position. And now this is what it looks like. The complete opposite of what we expected. So the wood is um, moving a lot and the tips of the leaves are steady. And you notice shader development is trial and error. So uh, it has to do something with the UV. 
we can maybe to try out to change these two. And it looks better now. The wood is steady here. Nothing is moving here, but the leaves are moving. One thing I want to change is to make the shader two-sided so that we can see the bottom of the leaves as well. And immediately you can see the leaves from the bottom. And now you see really the waves coming here and going through the whole thing. And it also works here on this grass. Just drag and drop the material on it and see the difference. So this is a grass just with the normal material and this is our animated material. That's it. If you uh, liked this tutorial, that's it. If you liked the tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section and uh, say so. Otherwise, I would like you to click on the subscribe button right now. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.